the seven deadly sins. Greed, lust, envy, pride, gluttony, wrath, and sloth. There are seven deep woken YouTubers that perfectly make up these seven deadly sins. And before getting started with any of these, just know that this whole video is not to target anyone. It's just made for jokes, just made for content. And it's also heavily inspired by the YouTuber Wadable, where he actually made a video on this, but for like all the other YouTubers. So let's get started with the first deadly sin, lust. Lust is defined as an uncontrollable desire for others, which often requires sacrifices because of it, which makes Sherifune the perfect candidate for the sin of lust. A deep looking YouTuber that sacrificed everything because of her lustful desires. Sherifune was a deep looking YouTuber that was really well known back on the release of the game for her abilities to smelt. You could give her a 10 health scarf and she would turn it into 50 health using a bug with the smelter which led to her series of becoming the ultimate tank build in Deep Woken as she would reach 800 health, which blew up her channel. With all this new attention, soon seeking views was not enough and she wanted to seek for something more. On April 15th, 2023, Shurifune would be kicked from the mod team for the reason inappropriate misconduct with members of the community. It would later be revealed that Shurifune was offering Deep Woken mods help with their tests for school, and when the mod asked how she could ever repay her, Shurifune responded with not a cash app or a PayPal, no, she wanted something beyond that. Shurifune would respond with, show me your ass. When this was surfaced, Shurifune was asked to leave the mod team and hasn't posted since. Also, just so there's no confusion at all, they were both adults. Just wanted to make that clear, and something else that should be more clear is the person who embodies the deadly sin of wrath. The perfect candidate for wrath is an obvious one, as wrath is defined as excessive anger. Who else would be a more perfect candidate for the sin than a literal angel that fell from heaven and is now looking from down below? Rom. Rom made a name for himself when hell mode became a thing in Deep Woken. He would go on to be known as the PvE guy and would garner a lot of fans from majority PvE demons which consisted of a lot of the player base. It was a nice change of pace from PvP YouTubers as finally there was a PvE one that would help the community in areas that they were unaware of. Ron would then go on to win Lightborn from the Deep Woken tournament and was seen as the developer's golden child. Except he got into controversy and got banned permanently from Deep Woken and when he tried to continue making content he got chase banned. This led Rom to resent Deep Woken and form a pit of anger towards the Deep Woken team and Deep Woken as a whole and would go on to make several videos on Deep Woken that would damage its reputation. Rom's uploads used to be daily, which is something that cannot be said for the contender of the Sin of Sloth, Daily Dose of Deep Woken aka Edgar. Sloth is defined as laziness which makes Edgar the perfect candidate. Back during Deep Woken's release, Edgar used to make actual content that wasn't Daily Dose of Deep Woken. It actually worked pretty well for him as his most viewed video is not actually a Daily Dose. Ironically, this video wasn't even his and he just re-uploaded someone else's video, further proving this sin. Edgar would hit gold with his series of Daily Dose of Deep Woken as these type of videos only required fans that would join your discord and post something funny that happened to them a mod team that filtered out the bad ones, and Edgar would wake up, download all the clips, and just paste them onto his editing software, and call it a day. He would repeat this technique 481 times, as he went on to make 481 daily dose of Deep Bokens, where somewhere along the line he would fully quit Deep Boken and instead pay his thumbnail artist to post the videos for him as it requires no effort to make. Edgar would go on to live life free from the strains of playing Deep Woken while having an infinite money machine running every day, making him a good 50 to 100 bucks a video. With cash as easy as this rolling in, and some would call it free money since his fans and editors did all the work for him, when Deep Woken started declining in views and his daily dose of Deep Bokens went from 100k views to 10k views a video, it was no longer worth it for Edgar to pay someone to upload videos every day for him. Edgar would have to choose between copying and pasting the clips into the editing software himself or quitting YouTube. 
and he went on to choose the second option. Edgar did not feel like taking 10 minutes out of his day for a 8 minute video that would earn him bank, giving him the title of Sloth. While Edgar may not have took pride in his videos, a certain YouTuber certainly does. The sin of pride is defined as an excessive desire for one's own self-importance and Nanoprogy is a perfect candidate for this. Nanoprogy is an anime YouTuber that's been hopping anime games for 7 years. For this past year, Nanoprogy has been posting Deepwoken and ABA content and was invited to the first Lightborn tournament where he got first place after beating Rom and won Gilgamesh Lightborn a yellow-haired Lightborn. Except, while this tournament had its fair share of drama like Timeskip Valakis and YBC Iceberg, Nanoprogy was also under heavy fire. Nanoprogy dismissed this tournament as an easy win for himself, putting himself as better than all the others in the tournament, and soon he began to panic when he was fighting Agamatsu, a 300 ping player, and almost lost to him. It was a close match where Agamatsu had him below 10% at one point while playing all the way from the opposite side of the world. Instead of respecting the skills of Agamatsu after barely winning against him, he proceeded to emo on him and said it was easy. I mean, I would hope it was easy considering he's 300 ping. Nano would get heavy backlash for this toxicity and pride, which makes him the perfect fit for this sin. Some people were envious of Nano Prodigy's win, which is why we're going to go on to the fifth deadly sin, Envy. Envy is defined as a resentment for another man's possessions, aka jealousy. This makes Key Exploits the perfect candidate for this sin. Key Exploits is an exploiter YouTuber that uses exploits in all his videos. He started his channel this way, with his first video being a rogue lineage one. All was going good for Key Exploits as he was on top of the world, pulling hundreds of thousands of views per progression, with its main gimmicks being progressing as something he's not supposed to be. For example, progressing as Enforcer. He would do this through exploits and suddenly, Roblox made a giant announcement that would permanently damage his channel. Roblox would go on to release Bifron, a anti-cheat for Roblox and Key Exploits would go on to get hardware banned from Roblox itself and lose everything. Exploits were no longer operational and could not work, even to this day, so Key Exploits has resorted these past 3 months to having to play legit. This goes against his channel as it is an exploit channel, so he would struggle a lot in finding ways to progress as he's not that great at the game. Even though he's now progressing without exploits, he still gets banned as he's chase banned which makes him envious of those who aren't chase banned. He's missed out on a lot of content because of Bifron, thus making him the perfect candidate for the sin. Speaking of missed out content, this next YouTuber never misses his chance at content and takes the throne for the sin of greed. Greed is defined as the love of material thing, and this goes to... <laughs> hey, hey, who else? Who else would this go to? Come on now, you guys know me. I can't make a 7 Deadly Sins video without being real and putting myself in it. I mean, hey, bag is bag and game is game. This YouTuber will milk anything. Oh, there's a brick that moves 7 inches. Yo, what's up guys, and today we have a game breaking secret update to go over. Alright, that's really it. Subscribe for a puppy and kitty, and bye bye. But, to be real, if you guys were me, you'd do it too, come on now. Don't hate the clickbait game, what title would you rather click on? New W update? Or, this is one of the most well designed updates in Deepwoken that adds a minor quality of life to the game. Definitely not one of the best, but pretty solid. No, no, you're gonna, you're gonna click on the new W update. Anyways, the final deadly sin is glutton and is defined as too much eating. And let me say, this candidate is a perfect fit as it's Agamatsu. Every time I open bro's stream, this guy is always eating something. I remember he told me and Valakis he was going to start cooking his own food since he's spending a thousand a month on DoorDash and this guy is still eating out. A thousand a month is crazy, I'm not gonna lie. What is bro ordering? The whole restaurant? When you guys comment on our videos, oh, he, he just made this video to pay for his DoorDash. With Agamatsu, that's real. Even Archmage calls us out on this. But yeah, 
that concludes the seven deadly sins of deep working youtubers if you guys want more of this type of content then subscribe so that i know also like the video please this took me so long to make oh my god so let me know if i should make more content like this and thanks for watching guys bye bye guys